Thank you for a really kind invitation. First of all, I would like to thank the stages committee to give me a privilege to be here today for showing our experience in uh, doing lab colectomy with uh, PLUS, the liver section. Okay. Okay, our case is a uh, 62 years old male. Uh, he got a primary cancer at the lecto sigmoid junction, and then he got a single uh, mass, a synchronous metastasis, about four centimeters at the left side of the liver, as you see here. And the tumor at the rectal sigmoid or upper rectum, I mean, is about three, three size. In this case, uh, we evaluate well with the EWATEC criteria that we need to do a simultaneous operation uh, about the lateral sectionectomy and anterior dissection. In this case, we evaluate that there are minor hepatectomy, no anatomical resection, no variation, normal liver palenchymal. So I think, uh, we think we, could, we should uh, be done the combined approach. The difficulty level is about five, and then we start the operation. We place the port like a conventional approach. We use a five or six port like a conventional uh, colectomy, and we begin a uh, dissection uh, with a medial to lateral fashion, like a conventional uh, approach. We follow the superior rectal artery to the root of the IMA. So most of the time, we uh, usually prefer uh, do a skeletonize the IMA like this, and then do a high ligation, except in some cases that have severe atherosclerosis or in severe deliberating patient, we, we do a low ligation. As you see here, you can see a beautiful nerve like this here. <coughs> we divided the IMA with the basal ceiling. Okay, for the pelvic dissection, you should be noticed that the tumor is quite big because it's three three tumor. We use a rectal pull-up technique for facilitating the dissection. But after we uh, dissection the posterior dissection, that as far as possible, we we uh, turn back to do an anterior dissection. So as you see here, you can see very beautiful view of the the uh, vesicle here, and you can see a uh, you can see a. Uh, yeah, it's seminal vesicle, right? You can see the didon relay fascia here. We go uh, behind the didon relay fascia. At the lateral section, you uh, can actually be taken not to injure the nerve at the pelvic side wall. Here, here is the anterior lateral dissection. This should be, uh, the nerve should be sit here. And then we back to the Posterior lateral dissection here. Yeah. And then we, we denude the rectum. We denude the rectum with the vascular ceiling vessel. It depends on you, but I do prefer this device. This is quite easy. The trick is that you have to pull the rectum outward and put the tension on them, and then you can do the dissection as this. After we do uh, the new rectum, we, uh, we introduce the endo GIA and we add a suprapubic port and then cut it. Okay. I use gold loaded. Normally we use a one or two cartridge. <coughs> if, if, you can, if you can clear the rectum uh, good enough, you can, sometimes you can use only one, one load. Okay, you can see the nerve here, okay. After that, we use uh, ICG, about three milligrams for evaluation the perfusion of the, the conduit. Also at the rectal stump, 
So in this case, you can see the restore sub here. When you inject the ICG, you can see the beautiful enhancement of the green, green color or blue color, like this. So after that, we are do an anastomosis. If you want to confirm that your anastomosis is good enough, you can, you can inject the ICG again to, to see that your anastomosis is well fulfilled. Like in this figure. So you can do both before and after anastomosis. And if you want to do a luminal, you're not sure, you, don't, you wonder the luminal, the luminal, uh, you can do like a, this technique. You can see, you can use the telescope uh, to see the, to see the wave perfusion using the ICG, like that. But be careful, the, the, the ICG, the first thing is very quickly disappear. It's just about the 30 seconds. Okay, so now we move to the, the lateral dissection of the, the liver. You can see the tumor is quite big, but it is uh, uh, very mobile. We start with the divided the tigral ligament and then do a polygamal transection. This uh, operation is done by another team. My colleague is done after my operation finish, here we do a select, selective info control. And then we use, sometimes we use uh, the CUSA for dissection, the vascular pedicle. And then you see we control the S2 and S3 pedicle with clip and divide it. So luckily we can, we can clear the tumor out of the left hepatic vein. We apply the, the white load. The margin uh, is very far from, uh, from the left hepatic vein. <coughs> Here you can see the stump. We remove the pringle. You can see the stump, S2, S3 pedicle. And we accident, accidentally found the nodule at the segment five. We think that this is a, a metastasis nodule, which is, cannot be detected by the CAT scan before, but it can be uh, detected by the ICT. So we remove it also. And lastly, we uh, try to uh, examine the by leakage with the ICT also, so there are no leakage. This is our specimen. Okay, patient was discharged in day nine and day 11. We started systemic therapy. That's all my presentation. Hope you enjoyed the video.